Hello everyone. So today I'm going to implement this very simple snow particle system using Unreal Engine 5 Niagara effect system. So as you can see here, you can see some particles also have the collisions as well. So that's why you can see some of them uh, when they collide the ground, they stay in the ground surface and have some reactions. And yeah, actually I haven't enabled the collisions for all the particles just for because of the performance concerns but yeah let's see how to implement this effect today all right now let's go to our effects folder and create a Niagara system using new system from selected emitters let's choose hanging particles okay and yes, no. Right now, let me drag and drop this system here. So this is what you get by default. Just hang in particles. So first thing is, I need to fold down the particles from a place above. So let's initially change the location so i i'm not going to use this box so plane location so let me delete that module shape location <coughs> let's so now you can see we have this shape location sphere and you can see a rough shape of a sphere in the area where the particles are spawned so if i wanted to spawn above the character i still want to create the uh, keep the origin of the particle in the ground level so i'll add an offset with maybe 200 units above maybe that's not enough 400 right now you can see particles are spawned here and if I want them to fall down either we can add the gravity node or we can add a given initial velocity downwards I don't think we need to add the gravity node because uh, it's not like snow particles are falling down with some acceleration like some solid object so let's just add a velocity downwards velocity in yeah, linear velocity would do so okay it's moving upward but I need to move it down or oh, they need them to move down so if I make it minus 50 you can see they are moving down but they stop moving around here that's because we have this drag I don't think we need to have a drag so let me disable it now you can see the particles are falling down good <coughs> and if I want them to have some angle when fall down I can easily add maybe in Y now the 30 see now they are moving while falling down into this direction but this is not enough to cover the area whole area around the player with the particle so and also you can see the particles uh, fade out when they move closer to the ground but if we need to keep them visible we can increase their lifetime so let's say change this to 7 to 4 12 maybe yeah now we can see them for a longer period good <coughs> then if we want to spawn them in a larger area here under shape location we can have in the scaling mode we have this non-uniform scale so if I 
increase this x to maybe 10 you can see the x area is increased let's do the same for the y but is it i'll keep one because i don't need to scale up the vertical axis of the sphere area that the particles are being spawned because just spawning them above the character should be enough okay so right now we have this one particle that covers a wider area the next step is if i want to have some more particles maybe it's a good idea to change this to a gpu particle because we can easily have a lot more particles here once we enable gpu particles we need to have a fixed bounds and i'll increase the bounds just in case so otherwise if we are out of this bound area the particle stops spawning right thing is working everything is working now here on the spawn rate let's try 5000 no why uh what if a percentage okay all right <clears throat> okay now we have a lot more particles great so the next thing is these particles are falling down in a very uniform manner without having any noisy movement which makes it somewhat unorganic you know I'm, I'm not sure but that depends on your design the way you want it to look but if you want some noise in the direction they are falling you can have this we already have this curl noise force if I increase it like 20 you should see some movement change in the falling down the snow see okay so that's one part um, the next thing is <coughs> if you want to uh, um, have some collisions you can enable collisions for this particle but uh, maybe only for half of the particles having collisions should be enough so but here I have kept this bond rate as 2000 and just let's just add a collision and see what happens we, we should see some bounce in effect see they are bouncing so but that's not how the snow particles are working so we can set this restitution to maybe a very small value you can if you want you can have zero also but i'll just leave it like this okay that seems good enough uh, now the other problem is if I enable collisions you can see if I move like this suddenly particles are vanished because they are using the GPU depth collisions some it has to do something regarding that so to avoid that collision yeah depth buffer this is the reason so to avoid that let me duplicate this same 
um, emitter and this module I'll remove for the next one then we will have the particles regardless of that see and we can also see the collisions for some particles for some particles we don't but that's okay at least as long as we see some collisions that should be good enough all right what else we should do <coughs> one more thing so if you want to make these snow particles a bit elongated towards their movement we can do something like this uh, this is with collision let me rename it snow with collision snow no collision here in the initialized particle section uh, sprite size mode I'll make it random non-uniform wait what's the initial size we had 2 to 3.5 so I'll make it random non-uniform 2 to 3.5 sorry 2 to 3.5 3.5 uh, now here let me keep the x max also as 2 so that we can have some shape uh, instead of having a perfect circle then here I'll align this to the velocity now we should see longer particles when they move in the moving direction see so if you want to push in that effect what you can do is sprite excise minimum value we can further decrease like this okay so i guess that should do it all right so now this should be enough for the particle effect and if you want to move it with the character maybe you can just attach it to the character so that as the character moves around the world you can keep the particles always around the character and also there are we can do some other improvements like changing the wind intensity dynamically or direction dynamically or maybe the particle count maybe we can turn this into a storm instead of just mild snowfall so we can do all those things by tweaking the parameters that we already have maybe i'll take a look at those effects also in a later episode and for now i'm going to stop it right here so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye